In this paper, we will talk about how to plan robust working motion on uneven terrain via convex optimization. Our objective is to plan robust center of mass and momentum trajectory with given footstep locations. As shown on the bottom plot, that a robot works on an uneven terrain course with friction cone constraints. And we plan to obtain such motion through convex optimization. We will first talk about how to measure the robustness of the motion. And second, we will show you how to formulate the motion planning problem as a convex optimization problem. We want to address the robustness of motion to external disturbances. Here, the robot can make a very robust step, while my colleagues Lucas and Andres are jumping up and down on the Polaris car. The robustness notion we use here is the zero moment point. The criteria is that the center of pressure lies strictly inside the foot support region. When the center of pressure goes to the boundary of the foot support region, the robot foot can tip over and the robot might fall down. So we want to control the center of pressure by controlling the robot's center of mass acceleration such that the center of pressure is far away from the boundary of the foot support region. There has been a lot of work to plan a robust motion using the zero moment point idea. Although widely used, zero moment point has some severe limitations. First, it assumes that the ground is flat, otherwise the foot support region is not well defined. Moreover, it can require unbounded tangential friction forces. When there exists friction cone constraints, the ground contact force can lie outside of the friction cone. When this happens, the foot can slide and the robot might fall over, as we will see shortly. Here, we plan the robot motion on this tilted terrain course with friction cone constraints using the ZMP planner. On the bottom left, we show the friction cone together with a contact force coming out from the ZMP planner. As you can see, the ground contact force lies outside of the friction cone. When we simulate this motion, the robot falls slight and the robot falls over. To overcome this, we will seek an alternative to zero moment point. Here, we use the idea called contact range cone, which is defined as a set of total range from all contact locations. A range is a concatenation of a force and a torque. In the bottom left, we draw a robot making contact with the ground. Here, we draw the robot in 2D for illustration purpose. Our approach also works for robot in 3D. At location P1, the friction force lie within the friction cone. In the bottom right, we draw the set of wrenches corresponding to the friction force within the friction cone. Also at location P2, there also exists a friction cone. And in the wrench space, we draw the corresponding set of wrenches. This also works for the friction cone at location P3. The contact wrench cone is a convex hull of all the contact wrenches in the range space. Apart from the contact forces, the robot is also subject to the gravitational force applied at its center of mass. The contact force, together with the gravitational force, would generate an acceleration of the robot's center of mass. Also, it will change the robot angular momentum. According to Newton's law f equals to ma, the rate of the linear and angular momentum equals to the summation of the contact range and the gravitational range. This is the same as saying the contact range computed by subtracting the gravitational range from the rate of momentum should lie within the contact range cone. When this inclusion holds, it is guaranteed that there exists friction force lying within the friction cone that can generate the desired acceleration. In the bottom right, we show a panoramic view of the contact range cone. It can be seen 
that the contact range cone is a generalization of the zero moment points. It can work for uneven terrain course with friction cone constraints. To measure the robustness of the motion, we will use the idea called contact range cone margin, which is defined as the smallest magnitude of disturbance range being applied at some point, such as a robot cannot resist without breaking contact. Consider again a robot making contact with the ground. Its contact range lies within the contact range cone. The contact range cone margin is no smaller than epsilon. If for all disturbance range with magnitude smaller than epsilon, the contact range plus the disturbance range still lie within the contact range cone. Geometrically, the contact range cone margin measures the distance from the contact range to the boundary of the contact range cone. We will try to maximize the contact range cone margin to improve the robustness of the motion. To plan the robot motion, we use pre-specified contact location and time. Also, we use a simple center of mass model of the robots. And we will formulate the motion planning as a convex optimization program. We will show that our planner works on uneven tilted terrain courses, where the ZMP planner fails. With pre-specified footstep locations, we first get the linearized friction cone at each contact location. The contact range cone is thus a given linear polyhedron, and the constraint that the contact range lies within the contact range cone is a convex constraint. Also, the contact range cone margin is the smallest distance from contact range to each facet of the contact range cone, and thus a concave function. We can maximize this concave function in a convex optimization problem. Apart from making the motion robust, we also want the motion to be natural. It is observed from human experiments that the centroidal angular momentum, which is the angular momentum around the center of mass, is kept small during human walking. So we will also aim to minimize the centroidal angular momentum of the robot. Unfortunately, the centroidal angular momentum is not a convex function of the decision variables. Specifically, it involves the product between the center of mass position r and the center of mass velocity r dot. So we cannot minimize this non-convex function directly in a convex optimization program. Instead, we will minimize a convex upper bound of the centroidal angular momentum. The trick here is that with given footstep locations, the center of mass position R is bounded. Here, we bound the center of mass position within a polytope. An upper bound of the centroidal angular momentum is obtained by maximizing it over center of mass position R within this polytope. It is well known that the maximization of a linear program is obtained at one of its vertex. So we can replace the center of mass position R with each vertices of the bounding polytope. The maximization of all those replacements is a convex upper bound of the centroidal angular momentum. And we will minimize this upper bound to minimize the centroidal angular momentum. To quickly summarize our approach, we take pre-specified contact locations and time, and we use a simple center of mass model of the robot without joint level kinematics. We discretize the trajectory into time samples and enforce the aforementioned convex constraints at each time sample. We maximize the contact range cone margin and minimize an upper bound of the centroidal angular momentum. This ends up being a convex optimization program. We run our contact range cone planner on the TLT terrain course with friction cone constraints. The pre-specified footstep locations are drawn as the red and green boxes on the ground. We also show the center of mass trajectory together with the bounding box. 
as you can see, the center of mass always lies within the bounding box. As mentioned previously, with the AMP planner, the contact force can lie outside of the friction cone. This violation of the constraints can also be observed from the contact range cone margin drawn on the left plot. At some time instances, the margins are negative, indicating a violation of the friction cone constraints. With the contact range cone planner, uh, the friction force always lies within the friction cone, and the margins are always positive. So this shows that our contact range cone planner can generate dynamically feasible motion on tilted terrain course with friction cone constraints.